Hi Aquarius, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading for the entire month of December 2016. Also, check out your playlist. Don't forget I post your weekend videos as well as your weekly videos. Uh, if you're looking for a psychic reading, please contact me on my website. It is www.ms-swami.com. You'll find a link to that on the black arrow located below this video. And if you visit my website, look on the homepage for the Christmas tree. Click on the Christmas tree. That's where I always post my holiday specials. Stick around, guys. When I get through with your reading, um, I've got another deck that I want to do, another three-card pull for you for your entire month of December. So let's look at your entire month of December is for Aquarius for December of 2016. Okay, Aquarius, we start with the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and a Major Arcana of the Fool. So let me break this down for you guys. There is some really good energy going on. I um, also want to let you know this is a general reading for all of Aquarius. So some of this may resonate with you and some of it may not. But I am seeing a little bit of the holiday blues on some of you guys. So kind of shake that off, okay? Um, starting with that Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Cups. The Nine of Swords, for some of you, is indicating a little down pull on the immune system. Um, you know, the weather is changing, winter colds. I know I'm getting a lot of reports of people with sinus infections, things like that. So be warned of that. But then when we look at the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords is what I refer to as self-imposed restrictions. And if you look at that card, you will see no one is holding you back or preventing you from moving forward other than you. And the Five of Cups is where you are looking down. And when you're looking down, you have a tendency to overlook what's surrounding you and what's being offered. So please remember that as you move forward with the month. We're looking at the Page of Swords, and we're looking at the Ten of Wands, and we're looking at the Fool. Holiday season, guys, it looks like there's a lot of people around you, which is a good place to be. Uh, it does show that you're happy and carefree, but also be warned of foolish decisions at this point in time, too. It does look like balance is being restored and that happiness is around. And if you'll take a close look at that Ten of Wands, you are currently overcoming your obstacles in the month of December, so not a bad thing either. So moving forward with Aquarius, we have the Ace of Cups, Major Arcana of the Sun, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. <coughs> Financial um, is perfect for you at the end of the year. Um, this is right where you want to be. For some of you, this could be a holiday bonus coming in, a Christmas bonus, uh, increase in pay and in regards to promotions, things of that nature. And of course, this follows right beside the sun showing everything is right where it needs to be, that the sun is shining brightly and that things are moving forward for you. Ace of Cups indicates new beginnings in the month of December. Okay, and for some of you, like I said, this is a general reading for all of Aquarius, but for some of you guys, this is also a new beginning in love as well. So Aquarius, I think you got a fantastic month ahead. Now moving forward, I have a friend of mine, Nikki, gave me a deck and it's called the Butterfly Oracle. And they're just absolutely gorgeous cards. So I thought, since this is your monthly video, let me share three of those, three of those cards with you for your entire month of December. Okay, Aquarius. Dietary change. We have the finances. And then we have forgiveness. Okay, guys, let's look at this. Dietary change. I can't think of how many of you I speak to at the end of the year, first of the year. You're looking at changing something physically about yourself. Um, and this can also indicate overeating for the holidays. So there is some type of dietary change going on for you the month of December. Finances went right back to that Ten of Pentacles. You are financially strong and things are going well. This is a wonderful fi financial month for you. And I guess the word for December, forgiveness. Sometimes we tend to forget that, you know, things that fester with us, how much that draws on your energy. Guys, it's so much easier if you just find forgiveness. Ultimately, a great month. 
Thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out your other videos. See you soon. Bye.